in this experiment we will discuss how to study the motion of spring to calculate modulus of rigidity we basically find out the modulus of rigidity in this experiment you see you have a spring attached to a uh, slotted mass you see you have a slotted mass which is attached to the spring and here basically you will find out the time period of oscillation you measure the time period of oscillation of the spring suppose you take the time for 20 oscillation so that you can calculate the value of one oscillation for this mass so in this way you have to find out uh, you have to find out the time period of uh, oscillation of various masses this is the uh, this is the main aim of this experiment if you want to find out the modulus of rigidity or rigidity modulus you basically found out the uh, time period of different masses which is uh, which is called basically the slotted masses which is fixed to the spring and remember when you find out the time period of different masses the oscillation must be small uh, you make small oscillation of the spring and the, and small oscillation you measure it by, by using a telescope it will be better if you measure the time period of the small oscillation using telescope to calculate the modulus of rigidity you have to use the formula eta is equal to 4 pi square m by t square into 4 n r cube divided by small r 4 here m is the mass given at the um, or mass given as a load to the to oscillate the spring and t is the time period of oscillation and r is the radius of the spring you can measure the radius of the spring by using a slide caliper and small r it is the radius of the wire you calculate the radio you measure the radius of the wire by using a screw gauge and n is the number of turns of the spring you can count the number of turns on the spring so all these values you can determine and in the experiment you have to find out the um, time period of oscillation and you have to um, do a graph for different mass you will find out different time period and from the empty square graph from the slope of the empty square graph you can find out the value of tau for the determination of the rigidity modulus you need this slope basically we take mass along x axis if you take mass along x axis and uh, t, t square along y axis then you will get the slope if you will get the slope mass by t square that is the uh, if you take t square along y and mass along x then if you divide t square by mass you find out the reciprocal of the slope if you take t square along x axis and m along y axis then you can find out the slope of the graph directly but it will be better if you take mass t square graph and take the uh, take the reciprocal of uh, reciprocal of the slope so it is a very easy method to find out the rigidity modulus of the spring thank you